Welcome to the Vampire Diaries, a the Vampire Diaries podcast, where guys watching the series for the first time with a super fan who has seen every episode. I'm the titular PD. Let's just say I put the PD in Vamp PD, but please call me Pete. And I'm here with my co-host and co-parent Ash. Hey Ash, I already thought of something to say while I was talking. <laughs> I could tell because you were saying it robotically. What? You've seen every episode of this? Yeah. That's so much. And you did that on your own time without even a podcast. Correct. And when was this? When we had our first baby. <laughs> Where And it was on Netflix already? Some of it, yeah. And then I also just watched it um, like on weird websites. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like because we did, at a certain point we didn't have like, it wasn't on our subscription or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or was it on the app or something mm-hmm. weird? And I had to f- try to watch it online. I watched it on like Vimeo or some mm, some Russian streams. Yeah, I and I watched a lot of it on like my first generation iPad. <laughs> oh wow, was it all pixelated? No. <laughs> like, is that Stefan or Damon? I can't tell. No, it wasn't pixelated. <laughs> it just was like I don't know. It just was what it was. But yeah. I watched it all. How many gigabytes did that iPad have? Like three? <laughs> yeah, like three. <laughs> I wasn't downloading anything on there. Oh, no. You were streaming. Yeah. Straight streaming on the Wi-Fi. Because we didn't have... It was not It was only Wi-Fi only iPad. Yeah, we didn't spring for the cellular service. No, that's what phones are for. That's what phones are for. <laughs> <laughs> Keep streaming. <laughs> Knowing you can watch Vampire Diaries. I don't, I, I don't even think I had a smartphone. I think I had an iPad first. For sure. Before I had an iPhone. That's kind of weird. Watching season four. <laughs> what were you saying? You watched it on an iPad? Yeah. You had an iPad before an iPhone? Yeah, I think so. Wow. I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Interesting. Mm-hmm. Ash, <laughs> but now you are watching it once more, once again. Yeah, on a larger screen mm-hmm. with you. On Netflix. Mm. Um, some There's something going on with Netflix right now. I don't know enough to even comment. I have known nothing. They might be putting ads on there or something, which would be a big mistake. Annoying. What are you going to put an ad for on Netflix? Well, they'll find something. Their own shows? Yeah, maybe. <clears throat> um, sleep number beds or whatever? Well, there's a whole bunch of weird ads on Hulu or whatever. Oh, true. And you have to watch the same one five times? Yeah, that's all you see. Pay for this service and also here's some ads. We can always go back to just being disc watchers. Yeah. Do they actually do that still? I think they do do discs still, Hmm. but it's like they don't even promote it at all. Mm -hmm. Just like if you want this, you know, there. so I've heard there are places in the country that don't have, Mm -hmm. you know, high speed internet even at Mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. So there's still disc watchers out there. Wow. I hope that they, I hope that those people can somehow find a way to download our podcast. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That'll be good. Listen to it. I hope so, too. I'm sure we've mentioned this before, but we were big Netflix Netflix disc jockeys. We definitely talked about it. Yeah. I can't stop talking about it. <laughs> All right. Well, stop. 
<laughs> okay, I'll try. I'll probably bring it up again. I mean, we have 70 more episodes or something. That sounds like too many. We might even have 100 episodes. <laughs> <laughs> Your math seems unreliable at this point. Mm, I don't know. Okay, eight seasons, 22 eps. That's about 216 episodes. Mm-hmm. We've done like 70 episodes. Wow, really? This hey. might be episode 69. We're approaching episode 69. It could be this episode. That's crazy. <clears throat> so, yeah. I mean, I know that people come here to hear us do shaky math we sat down at this microphone and talked about the show 69 times already there were a couple there was like a couple weeks where i was just like hey we're not doing one this week maybe once or twice also we did a fear street but we always but we never skipped an episode of the show correct so that's extra yeah so more than that i i I mean 69 episodes of our show Oh, oh okay okay gotcha so of this show, we've done 22, 44, 52, 62 okay. episodes of the show. That's still, I'm, I hadn't really thought about it in its totality. That's a lot. We've done 62 episodes of the show, I, I'm, I think. <laughs> and then I think we've done about five or six or seven b- b- bonuses. Mm. We tasted Brothers Bond. Yeah. We tasted fresh fine wine. We read the Fear Street. Mm-hmm. You did some things without me. Yeah, I think one week I was just like, I'm not doing anything but promoting my book. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Wow. Hey, if this is episode 69, also, is it 420? If this is episode 69, I mean, it's 421, I guess, but mm-hmm. episode 69 on 420, hey. That's if we had cool. recorded it yesterday like we were supposed to. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is <laughs> this is a Lola late ep. We're getting it out on Thursday just like we try. But yeah. usually you get it early in the morning. Tonight you're getting it late you're at night. You're getting it fresh. Ooh, this is extra fresh. It's a late night episode. Usually we you get it the day after we record. Today you're getting it the day we we record moments later. Hey, I'm hoping to get it up before midnight. All right, let's do it. All right. Season three, episode eighteen, the murder of one. Mm-hmm. Which I know what that means now that I've seen the episode. What does it mean? They murdered one of these OGs. Yeah, but they thought the murder of one was going to mean something else. Yep. It didn't. It didn't. Ash, cold open. Elena has coffee, and like a breakfast bag for a lark, probably from the Mystic Grill. Yeah, the only restaurant ever in the whole town. Damon is taking care of Alaric, or so he posits. What does posits mean? Like supposes. I mean like Elena is supposing. Mm, How do you spell it? P-O-S-I-T-S, I I think. Mm, I've never heard that before. I mean, he's he's putting up a front that he's taking care of Alaric. It's not really true. We see mere moments later. Mm -hmm, Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Also, are you just thinking of flight posits, the shoe? Because that's all I'm thinking of. <laughs> but that's usually, that's most of the time. Yeah, and that's more common for you. We don't see these chocolate muffins. No. They make me want a chocolate muffin, actually. I almost got muffins either yesterday or today for the fam. Oh. I wasn't going to get chocolate. I never get chocolate muffins. I, I was- never get chocolate muffins either, but the way he was describing them, I was like, or they were talking about them, I was like, that sounds pretty good. If I'm getting a muffin, I'm going to go a little exotic. Look, blueberry, great. Yeah, classic. However, I would maybe zig slash zag banana, uh, what, nut? Banana, mm-hmm, banana nut? nut. Or zucchini nut. Oh, well, that's if my grandma is making them. Mm-hmm. But no, I'm talking about buying from a store. Okay. Ash. I hope you don't have a drug test coming up because I'm getting poppy seed. Oh, poppy seed. Poppy, lemon poppy seed. Yes. Yeah. Ugh. Get the little seeds in there. No, what else is actually very good? Lemon blueberry. Ooh, that's at one of those fancy places. Yeah, that's a good one. But the, when the top is like crumbly. If you're sprinkling some big chunks of sugar on top, if you're getting me a Costco four pack. Those are too big. <laughs> 
Just so you, you know. Cut it into fourths. Yeah, they cut it into fourths. <laughs> Either want a Costco four pack cut into fourths or a little, what are they even called? I just bought them the little baggies. Oh, yeah, little bites. Little bites or whatever. <laughs> Chocolate muffins, though, which we didn't even get a shot of the muffins. We wanted to see the muffins. Show us the muffins. <laughs> are the way to a psycho killer's heart. Damon is bantering, right? Mm-hmm. Damon says Alaric is in lockdown and makes her go away, but actually Alaric and Stefan are chopping up the Wickery Bridge sign. They have converted Alaric's loft into a makeshift uh, carpenter shop. Yeah, they're just all chopping it up. Chopping it up. And there's no even furniture or anything. It didn't look like it looked <laughs> like they cleared out the whole space. Yeah, he's got a nice apartment up there. His loft is big. Yeah, he does a lot over there. And then Heavy metal and the logo. <laughs> da nah, da nah. The boys are making weapons. Stefan is micromanaging. He's like, this steak needs sharper points. I don't want to like be stabbing these originals and it does work. Yeah, and he was right because that w- that steak they were looking at was pretty weak. But yeah. there aren't they like gigantic steaks? They're like as big as like two liter water bottles. <laughs> I feel like they're so huge. <laughs> Yeah, they looked pretty big. They looked pretty girthy. Mm-hmm. Um, they could have made a lot more steaks if they made them a little smaller. Yeah, or some mini steaks or like a blow dart. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I was just thinking that, um, we'll talk about it later, but when they have to like give back all the steaks, I'm like, well, can't they use all the shavings they mm. had from the whittling? And they would be like, yeah, we gave you, like, you know, because Damon's compelled. He's like, yeah, here's all of them. But it's like, but he didn't ask us if we kept the shavings. <laughs> and, and what would they do with those shavings? I don't know, make, like, toothpicks and stuff. Oh, shavings and the toothpicks. You haven't seen that yet. I'm just saying. They could. All right. Alaric wants to turn himself into the to the MFPD. <laughs> <laughs> These MFPD. Uh, he has a homicidal alter ego. Homicidal. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> bon- Bonnie's herbs are working. 420, bro. <laughs> Bonnie's herbs are working. Uh, Stefan says Klaus needs to die. Damon wants Alaric to put on the ring, even though it made him kill people, but it also saved his life. Mm-hmm. He's like, you're about to fight vampires? Mm-hmm. Put on the ring, bro. They're going vampire hunting. Mm-hmm. Vampires hunting vampires. Vampire on vampire crime. Sad. <laughs> <laughs> Elena tells Caroline that Alaric killed her father. Okay, so <laughs> Elena is, you know, tells Caroline this, and then she's like, but Bonnie's herbs. Yeah. If you're Caroline, you'd be like, what? She didn't give Caroline enough time to be, like, mad or sad. And forget those h- herbs. <laughs> yeah. Forget those herbs. You'd be like, what? And I'd be like, what are you talking I'm about? I'm processing my history teacher killing my dad Exactly. Right He's the victim of something supernatural. Oh, I, they were talking about this, and it made me flash back to that commercial where it's like a guy running, and it's like, no one ever said, I'm going to be a junkie when I grow up. Hmm. And Caroline was kind of like, no one ever said, I want to be a vampire when I grow up. <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. Same thing. Elena highlights that no one asked for any of this and mentions every single one of her friends that this has happened to. Right. Everyone except Matt. But even she could have been like, Matt didn't want to have a ghost sister either. Yeah. Matt's <laughs> heavy in the game. He knows right. all this. Mm-hmm. But he's not currently... And he did die, actually. Mm -hmm. He's kind of a ghost himself. What? (laughs) (laughs) Who would Elena be if she turned her back on any of you? Caroline Caroline is calling Elena a hero, even though Elena is kind of responsible for most of these people turning supernatch. It's true. If she didn't meet Stefan and fall in love with him... Really, nobody would have been involved, and only Stefan and Damon would have been the vampires, really. Correct. However, 
it's a twist of fate that she is the doppelganger. Right. So she could have... It might have been unavoidable. ...not fallen in love, but maybe that was predestination. Mm -hmm. These doppelgangers and these salvators. Yeah. Matt got a cryptic secret meeting text. Damon texted everyone to come to the woods. Mm -hmm. Um, Do you think they group texted? No, I don't think they had group text. I think you had to type the same thing over and over again. <laughs> and you didn't even have copy-paste. Oh my gosh, no copy-paste? No, you had to use your stylus and write the message. Oh, we'll get to that. <laughs> let's not do that yet, but let's get to that. <laughs> they all have stakes now from the white oak ash mm-hmm. in the woods. I'm glad my name is in this so much. Yep. Oak ash. <laughs> Klaus and Finn are walking down the street in an undisclosed location. Yeah, a super loud street. A city street in Richmond or... They don't say. New York City. They do not say where they are, but this is so obviously... What's it called? ADR? ADR. Yes. Yeah, there's just like... I mean, they do a good job if they were in the, the soundproof booth... <laughs> doing the ADR after the fact. I mean, sort of. And obviously, I did. that's not something I noticed on first watch, but watching it back now, and I feel like ADR is better now these days mm-hmm. to be like, these guys are lip-talking to their own audio or vice versa. Yeah, how did you say it back then? Oh, I said it like this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, man. Finn is down to sacrifice. He's DTS at any time. <laughs> they rehash the whole thing about them being linked. They do some exposition in that way. Yeah, if one dies, you all die. <laughs> <laughs> they do exist. <laughs> <laughs> Klaus wants Finn to go back to Mystic Falls with him. Finn whooshes into the alley, but Rebecca's there. She agrees with Klaus. Klaus wants them unlinked and then he throws finn against the brick wall and he bounces yeah knocked him out in the woods the gang is still talking about staking any of the ogs they're linked caroline will be klaus bait Mm -hmm. matt will keep rebecca busy (laughs) (laughs) all these 1000 year olds are into 17 year olds yeah true they role play what they're gonna do, which was kind of silly. The role playing was so silly, and it did not help them literally at all. No, okay, you're gonna hold them, and I'm gonna do this and stab them. Why well, even shoot that? If I was the director, I'd be like, Ugh, "We gotta shoot that." Yeah, it's not good. And like they're role playing a scenario that they have absolutely no control over. Like if you're gonna role play something, it's more like, "All right, this is the situation. Let's." acted out but it's like they don't know which original they're gonna see where or when they just need to be like whoever sees one stake them (laughs) yeah and it seemed like stefan had like 15 scenarios that he wanted to go through that day i'd be like oh stefan can we can i go home (laughs) you know he was a little bit pressed yeah and then later on he doesn't even do a good job it's like you were too much in your head bro (laughs) yeah um no last minute pity is what Damon wants. Damon says Barbie and bus boy Mm -hmm. for Caroline and Matt. That's funny. Mm -hmm. And then Stefan's like, let's try another scenario. Elena, here's a big crossbow. Like, in case you're walking down the street with this big crossbow. Right. Which, we never see the crossbow again in this episode. No. It was not, um... The... Chekhov's... the, The gun. Chekhov's crossbow. Yeah. Caroline's crossbow. Klaus and Rebecca. Yeah, Elena was holding it. I know, but Caroline is the alliteration. Okay. <laughs> Klaus's crossbow. There you go. Mm-hmm. Klaus and Rebecca take Finn to meet Sage, and Finn hasn't seen Sage yet. No. Until this mo, this episode. And no one's told him that she's looking for him or anything. These originals are trying to break the bond. The oh. Mystic Falls crew. Is trying to kill an original while they're still bonded. Right. These things are happening simultaneously. Klaus, okay, here we go, is texting Cole. Cole sends him a 
traditional text, right? Mm-hmm. And then Klaus is like, oh, text him now or whatever. <laughs> and writes just on the screen with a stylus the words like, hey, bro, whatever. Mm-hmm. And I assumed that that I'm waiting or whatever he wrote on there was going to turn to a text. Mm-hmm. But instead, he just sent the picture of his handwriting <laughs> to Cole or whatever. That's so bad. Was, this he, and it was like a commercial for this phone. Yes, they do the Samsungs. Yeah. They do the the skyping and Bing dot com. Right, all the technologies that never prevailed. Yes, <laughs> they have had only failed technology in the show. So I mean, far. yeah, they. Ha- it's not like there's an episode where they're like, "All right, transfer." your crypto to me <laughs> and then they use like robin hood or whatever <laughs> right like they do nothing that like uh we're what, gonna go netflix and suck or right. something <laughs> but nothing no google no iphone no wireless headphones no like no, no apple phones no like, apple we're, we're using samsung's to bing like our two-way <laughs> We're going to send pictures of our handwriting to each other. <laughs> also, the phone kind of worked like a Nintendo DS, it seemed like. Yeah, true. It was very weird. Yeah, they premiere the weirdest tech that never catches on. Never. But guess what? They're laughing all the way to the bank. Oh, yeah. Like, these companies failed, and <laughs> they got to make their show. Yeah, totally. And in the end, they're the real... The show Wieners. prevailed. The technology did not. Yeah. Also, it's a fantasy show. Maybe in this fantasy world, this technology exists and works. <laughs> <laughs> They're all watching Betamaxes. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, instead of Blu-rays, they're watching HD DVDs. Yeah, and they're listening to their record players. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Instead of MP3s, they're listening to WAV files. Oh, I miss my WAV files. I miss my. I'm not. Again, probably mentioned this before. Winamp. I miss yeah. my. I miss my. Winamp. The Winamp played the MIDI files. Oh yeah. What What were you listening to? Because I was listening to literal clips of NSYNC and Justin Timberlake saying things. Like he'd be like, "Oh man, I can't even pull a single quote." He'd be like, oh, yeah, you like that, don't you? I would have, like, a clip of him just saying that, and I would just listen to it, like, over and over again. Because I was a... Weird, me too. A teenage girl. <laughs> no. I would download, like, a rap mixtape <laughs> off of, like, LimeWire, mm-hmm. and then it would be a, a file on my computer, and then I'd drag them into the Winamp 3... Maybe have a cool skin on there. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then I'd hit shuffle. And just be freaking listening to tunes. Yeah. I was, I was listening to NSYNC thing, like, The Lion Sleeps Tonight. <laughs> like, all these, like, deep cuts. Like, I had all the CDs. So uh-huh. I would, we would find, me and my best friend, we would find these, like, weird little clips from their life and listen to them. We thought we were doing something that was really cool. That's what's up. It was, Ash. It was fun. <clears throat> Those were the days. Simpler times. Very much so. Elena's- but also harder times, so it took a long time to download the thing. Oh, man. Okay. Moving Who on. Who made a phone call and messed up my Lil <laughs> Wayne, uh, you know, early mixtape? <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Mm-hmm. Put that phone down. It took me two days to get the <laughs> one track. It's so true. This is the Silk the Shocker and Master P collab. But that's what helped us to be patient, I think, compared to different generations. Oh, man. I am so patient. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Elena's mansion. Damon is hiding a stake in the firewood, which <laughs> also doesn't come back into play at all. And Alark calls him on the moonstone in the soap dish. I think they just wanted to make the moonstone soap dish joke, the mm-hmm. writers. That's a good joke, but I do think it comes back. Maybe you missed it. Um, they talk about how Damon has to go get the last steak, uh-huh. and he gets his, and then they go to get a Lark's. Uh-huh. 
Which is not. I was wondering, would a lark even know about the moonstone in the soap dish? Was he involved in that, or was that just lore of like, oh, Tyler or whoever found the moonstone in the soap dish, and a lark just heard about it because he's up in oh. these kids' business? No, yeah, he knows because that's when Aunt Jenna died in that whole sacrifice. Mm. A door slams, glass breaks, Rick gets thrown down the stairs, and then Rebecca stabs. Day mom. Mm-hmm. She must have been whooshing. She must have been whooshing. <laughs> <laughs> Elena calls Bonnie. She's worried about her. Okay, so Matt is, like, standing there talking, I think, to Caroline, and he has the weirdest just, like, one line, like, you know how you're supposed to be in a conversation, mm-hmm. like, in acting, you're supposed to be in a conversation, and then the scene starts, but it's supposed to be like you're having a real conversation over here. Yeah, it's like it, you're starting in the middle of a conversation. And Matt just says, with no one else talking, he says, Alark was the most normal guy in town. (laughs) And no one said anything before Before that, and no one says anything after that. Anyway. (laughs) (laughs) Finn and Sage are walking through the town square. Sage hasn't moved on after 900 years. She still loves him. And she doesn't want him to die. Even though he was in the coffin for 900 years. It's just as fresh as the day that he knew her, whenever that was. I mean, honestly, that sounds hard to believe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I love you a lot. Oh, thanks. The most. Uh-huh. 900 years? That's I would a long be time. like, after a while, you'd be like, they're not going to be back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know, but maybe that makes it more exciting. You're like, yeah, I but, never thought I would see <clears throat> them ever again, and here they are 900 years later. And I get it for the walk through the town square, but would it last? Like, uh, how involved were they 900 years ago, even? And also, she lived 900 years, and he's just waking up for the first time. It'd be like, you don't know literal anything. Like, yeah. it would be kind of cool to be Finn and, like, learn all the things, but she would probably be really bored of him. That could be its own episode of of finn just walking around and being like they got bing now (laughs) yeah what's this phone that you write your name on (laughs) yeah back in my day we had whatever carrier pigeons yeah (laughs) we had only human beings elena tells stefan that finn is there with sage don't do anything with Sage there. She's old and strong. Love to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> Stefan finds Alaric all beat Better up. than what Sage was saying about women being so weak and manipulate. Oh, yeah. Manipulative. Like or last, last episode. Not manipulative. It's like when you can be manipulated. Yeah, easy to manipulate. Yeah. 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 They're foolish. Yeah. They're foolish and weak women. Oh, jeez. Um. Rebecca has Damon chained up. Mm-hmm. She does some exposition. Some exposition. Sage stole her thoughts. Last episode. Mm-hmm. She's going to bleed the vervain from Damon's system. Mm-hmm. She's torturing him. Excuse me. There's lots of. Uh, did did we hear the burp on the mic? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm calling it out. Okay. And we don't edit. No, oh, definitely anymore. Not, definitely not today. Nope. But if you heard it, hey, that's a little bonus for 2069 <laughs> <laughs> treat. <laughs> There's lots of blood. <clears throat> She's slicing his arteries. Um, vampires heal fast, so she has to keep slicing. Right. Klaus walks in and critiques her method. Yeah, but he's right. But also says basically what Rebecca just said. Going to bleed him of her vein, eh? She, he just comes in, says the thing, mm-hmm. and then... He's like, well, why don't you want to hang him upside down? She's like, um, no, I'm doing it like this. <laughs> He's just standing on the ground with his arms up. Maybe that was a thing, like... The writers were like, they're going to wonder why he's not hanging upside mm-hmm. down. And so we'll have Klaus walk in and say, like, three things. Yeah. Probably because they were like, Ian Summerholder was like, I really am it's not. It's like, I don't want to hang upside down for like eight hours. Yeah, and I don't want to do that. <laughs> I already have to be like acting like I'm in pain and have all this blood all over me. Can I just stand? <laughs> yeah, I'm also going to be like um, uh, dehydrated so I can get my abs popping. Mm-hmm. Please don't put me upside down. <laughs> 
They have Bonnie there, though, Ash. Mm-hmm. Bonnie, we haven't seen her in a minute, and she's there. Bonnie found the spell to unlink these OGs. I know. But she doesn't know that at the same time everyone else is trying to kill one of the uh, originals. And she doesn't know if she has the energy to do the spell even. Mm-hmm. There's a neighbor dog barking. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Man, burping, barking. And bourbon. Hey, sounds like a good restaurant. <laughs> no, it not. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Ash, there's lots of phone calls in this episode. Mm-hmm. Okay, and Finn is the guy that we've seen earlier, but Cole, the other brother, is in the Mile High City. Yeah, that's Chicago. Where where is that? No, where Jeremy's? Windy, I know, I know, it's where Jeremy is, but Chicago is the windy city. Which one's the mile high it's city? It's either Denver or Detroit. You don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, which one is he at? Because we always joke back and forth. Oh, it must be. I think it's Denver. It must be Denver. Because why would he go? Want f- him to be in Detroit. Yeah, I want him to be on Eight Mile. I want him to be. Um, uh, freestyle battling against Papa Doc. Yeah, where he said that he wasn't rapping when they showed him. Yeah, he was playing with some stupid dog. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. It was a cute dog. And also, they're either going to hurt Jeremy or the puppy. It, it wasn't clear. <laughs> like, they were like showing up and they were like, they're they were like, isn't this the cutest thing you've ever seen? Yeah. It'd be so sad if they die. <laughs> yeah. You're like, wait, what? And Bonnie was like, could we keep the the dog or <laughs> yeah i think he meant jeremy just saying oh caroline <clears throat> talks to a lark she checks up on him even though she has just learned that he killed her dad yeah well technically he turned her he killed her dad and then he was turned into a vampire and then he chose to die for real on his own technically Technic. well we're ge- we're getting technical tonight She has the herbs from Bonnie. It's awkward because he killed her dad. Hmm. He's sorry, though. Mm -hmm. And then Caroline is, like, trying to make him feel better Mm -hmm. about killing her dad. I know. She says she killed a stranger, though, and she liked it, which is one of my favorite Katy Perry songs. (laughs) And she's so understanding. Maybe the guy I killed was someone's father also. Yeah, I still, I don't know why she doesn't get to have her moment of just being, like, so upset. Yeah, super mad. Yeah. She's going to forgive him. <laughs> I think that was just, like, we don't have, like, two scenes. We don't scenes. have time, yeah. Yeah, we have to do this all in one scene so she can't be really mad. Mm-hmm. Elena meets Stefan at the grill. Elena wants to find Damon. They're outside the grill. But Stefan doesn't. Again, Elena's messing with the plan. They did, like, 15 role plays. I know. And she's like, well, but Damon, blah, blah, blah. And Stefan's like, no, Damon would want to blah, blah, blah. And this is where it gets complicated because Elena does care about Damon, so she's all worrying about him. And Stefan's just like, we need to just kill the originals. Even the the time that they're taking to have this conversation Mm -hmm. is wasting the time of their plan, which in the end I'm grateful for, and Mm -hmm. I think everyone is. But at the time you're like, this is so annoying. Just do the plan. Kind of a big reveal coming. Yeah, really big. Damon is all bloody and weak. Elena <laughs> finds him. Unlike, uh, what was the other thing? Strong and <laughs> old. <laughs> strong and old. We got strong old ladies out here. We got bloody weak all right. guys. Would you rather be strong and old or bloody and weak? <laughs> <laughs> but young? Yeah, I, bloody, I guess so. Bloody, weak, and young or... Strong, not bloody, and old. Yeah. Hmm. Mm, I think a, a, a season for everything. A, a well, t- it's a would you rather. Okay. Um, I think I would honestly rather be not bloody, strong, and old. I think I would also want to be not bloody, <laughs> strong, and old. Young, bloody, and weak sounds great, but... but probably old and... Weak is frustrating, and bloody is gross. So gross. Elena finds him, wants to help him. There are bear traps on his wrists. I said, how did she find him, and how are they letting 
her just walk through this house. Yeah, also, she's acting like she found those traps, like, at Stefan's house. I mean, at um, Klaus's house. But I think that there's... Klaus is in the house, Troubles of Bruin? Yeah, I think there's Stefan's traps for how he would get his food when he would eat animals. Mmm, weird. She lets a daemon drink her arm. Mm -hmm. He's H for B. When he stops sucking, he doesn't have a big blood mouth. No. But it's a dream. Yeah. That answers all the questions. It's a dream that Rebecca put into his mind. It wasn't even his own dream. Rebecca is mad that he played her, so she played him. Mm Mm-hmm. But it's like, all right, if you're going to try to put someone's thoughts in their head mm-hmm. in, like, a mean way, mm-hmm. why would you have them think about, like, the things that they would really enjoy? <laughs> you know? Yeah, because then, you just wake up and you're so He wakes mad. up and he's disappointed. She's like, got you. And he's yeah. like, that was really great, actually. Like, yeah, he, like, it's a, it was a relief from this yeah, from the thing pain. that's happening. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. I didn't think that was very good uh, torturing. She's like bad at torturing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, oh, I'm going to make you dream of something so good. I'm going to make you dream of something so good. I'm not going to put you upside down. Yeah. And instead of killing you, I'm just going to slice you a bunch. But you heal, so it's not really that big a deal. <laughs> yeah, just get this fur vein out. Mm-hmm. Um, Damon calls her desperate for attention, and she stabs him again. Klaus and Bonnie are in the other room. Klaus is, like, playing on her emotions, saying that her mother left her again. And he can help Bonnie find her mom, or he can kill her mom. Mm-hmm. Her choice. I'll hurt the people you love until you do the spell. He has a sibling's blood for the spell. It looks like a nice, like, kind of flight. Yeah, it does. <laughs> um, then he bites his own hand. And he does a palm bite like the palm slice that we talk about all the time. He does a palm bite like a palm slice, but usually when they do a palm bite or they're like that, you can hear that. Uh-huh. And you can't really hear that. And he didn't have any blood on his mouth. And so it, like, it was cut in a way where you, where you could tell he didn't actually bite himself and that he was just holding something in his hand. To squeeze the blood out later. So, to me, it wasn't very believable. Oh, man. I, I, b- I believed every second of I it. I saw through it. Sage and Finn are doing tequila shots. This is the moment where it's like, I've been in a coffin for 900 years. Tequila is great. <laughs> <laughs> Sage turns Stefan. They're all in the grill. Everyone is there. Everyone is having all three meals there. Matt is there, too. <laughs> Lots of turning conversation. Sage has turned a lot of people, mm-hmm. setting up the idea of lineages. Yeah, but you just said, did you just say Sage turned Stefan? Yes. That's not true. That's what she said. Finn turned Sage, and then the guy that walked by who was random from the town, um, she was like, hey, and he was like, hey, and then Finn's like, who's that? And she's like, oh, I turned him. He's in the town. I needed help because there was, like, a lot of people here that were against me. Oh, dang. Not Stefan. Because if it was, Stefan would be dead. Hmm. Okay. Bonnie is doing the spell with the blood. The blood separates. Mm Mm-hmm. Matt put Vervain in Sage and Finn's tequila shots. Uh Uh-oh. That's not a lime. (laughs) for rain. <laughs> Stefan smirks at them and exits the grill and they follow taking the bait. Mm-hmm. Stefan tries to stake Finn but Sage knocks him over and the stake falls down the steps. Immediately. It's so disappointing. Stefan you rehearsed the scenario a hundred times and now you just immediately drop the stake. Come Immediate on man. Immediate fail. Matt and Elena stake Finn but... Bonnie has done the spell, so these OGs are unlinked. So only Finn dies. I know, and Finn was like the good one in a way, and mm-hmm. he was willing to die to take out the curse, accursed originals. Right. 
He bursts into flames and Sage cries, but these sibs are no longer linked. I know, but I do feel bad for Sage. Sage, like, I don't know her whole story, obviously, mm-hmm. but her and her betrothed, is that say? I don't know. I think she talks about her whole story a little bit. <laughs> um, <laughs> she, she's, like, so happy to finally be back with this guy she's been wanting for 900 years, mm-hmm. and they've been together for, like, three hours, and then he immediately dies. It's like, what? It's like, uh... Alanis Morissette. <laughs> yeah, even, Isn't it ironic? Yeah. I would come yeah. up with a verse about what happened, but it would be bad because I'm not good at that kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, when that happened, I was like, whoa, I just feel like I just saw 10,000 spoons. Yeah, but I want to be like, and I'm going to try it anyways. It'd be like, I'm a vampire. <laughs> I turned 900. <laughs> and then it'd be like... um and I, when I see my girl, then, I don't know, and I immediately get staked. <laughs> see, I knew it would be bad. That but was actually really good. Something like that, you know? Yeah. Isn't it ironic? Yeah. Don't you think? That can be your homework for next week. I know. I can't do it you'll, on the spot. You'll never do but it. But, like, someone else is singing right now. Like, I triggered someone else's, like, thoughts, and they're like, yeah. yeah. So if you figured it out, tell it to me. Because I'm not good at that kind of thing. I told you I wasn't right. going to be good what at are, it. It's, yeah, okay. So, But what are some actual lyrics? Because we can do this on the fly. Okay, so it's like, um, there's 10,000 spoons, but all you need is a knife. It's like 900 years. <laughs> and and then, all you had was three hours. <laughs> and then it's also like um, meeting the man of my dreams and then meeting his beautiful wife. It's like meeting the man of my dreams. <laughs> And then they get staked immediately. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, basically. Or that um, that guy was afraid to fly. Uh huh. And he packed his suitcase and gave his, kissed his kids goodbye. Eye. And then um, he finally got on the flight and then it crashed. Oh my gosh. That song's too scary. Yeah. The song's scarier than some of these episodes. All right, well, that's what happened with Sage. She's like. I've been waiting 900 years. <laughs> and I would wait 900 <laughs> years. Now we're doing a mashup. <laughs> yeah. This would be good if we had musical talent. Uh-huh. It's like... <laughs> it's like stabbing an OG. And they're no longer linked. <laughs> <laughs> There's something there. It's like when I finally met my lover... After 900 years, and then he gets staked by a white oak tree. <laughs> <laughs> and burst into flames. I, I'm leaning into that. Yeah. They whisper it at some it's point. Some of the <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. I will never listen to this episode again because... No. This is, this is a skip. This is too bad. <laughs> this is a skip for me. But I bet some people are liking it. <laughs> Not for me. Um, this is what people tune in for. <laughs> they want to hear us just say what the happened in the episode <laughs> and then say silly stuff also. Well, that was quite silly. That's why I listen to this podcast about uh, Drag Race. Oh, yeah. I, I hear what happened in the episode and they say funny stuff. Yeah, totally. <clears throat> All re- right. So re- anyways... Rebecca, thanks, Bonnie. <laughs> See you in physics class. <laughs> it was weird that she said that because, yeah, all these 1,000-year-olds go to school. And also Bonnie's school. a 17-year-old witch and <laughs> Elena and, like, what are you doing here? I mean, people really do peak in high school. <laughs> but... I think both of us, I think we would, if we were 900 years old, we'd go to college. Yeah, oh College. Yeah. It would be college 100%. Just go to every college. Just every four years go to a different college. Well, remember they when they went to that one place where the glass exploded everywhere? Yeah. That one guy's like, I just keep going to college and learning all the things. Yes. That's yes. That's the kind of vampire I would be. There's a gym. There's the freaking dining halls. You would crush. I mean, I guess you don't eat. Yeah, no, they eat. Okay. Go to the dining hall. 
Oh my gosh. The Everyone's up late anyways. Yes, a lot of uh, co-ed blood. People are drinking and drinking coffee. That's kind of already part of it. Yeah. But yeah, you can learn a lot, which I love learning. Mm-hmm. Even though I don't remember a lot of things, everyone knows this. But college, I'd be a college vampire for life. Yeah, you're kind of like a weird freak if you go to high school. High school is, I would say, harder than college. Yeah, it is. High school, they throw a lot at you. I think high school is harder than college because you're also just so like unprepared. You're like, I was just in middle school. Like, and, and, I, yeah. And now I'm in high school. I don't know. I'm 16. I can barely drive. I got to get up at 5 a.m. <laughs> I All I want to do is talk to ladies. All I have... All I have to do are a million tests and oh learn like gosh. a foreign language for some reason. Yeah, you're, you're learning a foreign language for obvious reasons of that your brain can learn languages. <laughs> well, and just to um, be able to communicate with people. I know, but like learning it at that time seems kind of absurd. And you're reading like literature that you don't understand. I mean, maybe yeah. maybe maybe the people listening. Maybe the um, teens listening are like, no, um, I totally get uh, Wuthering Heights, and mm-hmm. I also know Latin and German. And, and I, <clears throat> I totally calculus relate, relate is, to Beowulf. Calculus is easy. I relate to Beowulf. <laughs> Dante's Inferno. Um, more like um, DiGiorno. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If that's true for high schoolers these days, good. That means the parents are doing it right. But, man, it is hard. It is hard. I picture today's teens like the clueless teens where they have sophisticated Mm -hmm. inner monologues and and vernaculars and diction. Um, I think that that is not true, though. No. From my experience, (laughs) that's not true. Sorry, guys. But hey, we love the teens. If you're listening, (laughs) watch this show, listen to the pod. Right? Yeah. It's age appropriate. Yeah, no, we we try to be appropriate. The show, I mean. Oh, yeah, and also us. The television show. And us. Oh, yeah. Teens, just adopt a pug. I just keep kissing our pug, by the way, if you hear kissing sounds. <laughs> we don't stop to just me and Ash kiss. <laughs> no. <laughs> if there's kissing on mic, it's the pug. Yeah, she just got groomed today. She's so soft, and I just have to kiss her. Ash. <laughs> <laughs> it would be so weird if we just kissed. Bonnie sees the bloody Damon. Uh-huh. He asks for help. <clears throat> she denies him. Yeah, save the man who turned your mother into a vampire. She's not into it. No, she has having some big feelings. It seems like she ha- has gone through a lot in a row and has had no time to process any of it. Correct. Elena and Stefan check on Alaric. <laughs> Carlene. <laughs> <laughs> Caroline? I missed a no. <laughs> Caroline is taking care of him. Bonnie calls. Klaus has Damon. They should all be dead. But Bonnie's like, they forced me to do an unlinking spell. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Damon is at Klaus's mansion. He threatened Jeremy and my mom. That's why she did it. Bonnie is sad. Mm-hmm. They always put it on Bonnie. She has to make big decisions. I know. She really has the tough, t- the most tough time. Life's a witch and then you die. Yeah. That's true. Stefan wants to go save Damon or kill Klaus, but he's acting on anger. That's Yeah, that's what Elena says. Klaus does not get to survive this after everything he took from me. And really, he's talking about his relationship with Elena. He talks about it for an hour at the end of the episode. He and Elena's talking, like, what? Like He is talking about that, but also he's talking about like how he turned him into a ripper again. Mm-hmm. And he's like he killed so many people and he lost control and all that. Ash, I feel the same way about these um <laughs> these sweet, hot and sweet jalapenos. Oh yeah. From uh Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe's. 
I get so mad because they turn me into a ripper also. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I get so mad. They took I, it from you. <laughs> yeah, I want them. <laughs> but they turn me into a ripper. Oh, my gosh. Um, And she's like, I miss well-adjusted Stefan. Sage bursts in. She's mad. No, but, wait. I think Caroline says that. Okay. She's mad but sick. She's not so old and strong anymore. No, but she comes in. Did you notice she looked so gross when she walked in? Yeah, and she has a mustache friend with her. Yeah. Troy. That's Troy is the one who she said she turned him. Yeah, I know. I get it. Which earlier you thought that was Stefan. No, I didn't think that Troy was Stefan. I thought that no, she's... I know. I thought that she said she turned Stefan. No, I, she was I referring understand. to Troy. I know. Yeah. You told me that earlier. Yeah, that's what... This and is then the this guy, is Troy. This is the guy I'm talking about. I knew that. Okay. Her buddy, mustache friend. Mm -hmm. I mustache you a question. What's your name? It's Troy. <laughs> He's sick too. They die. When your OG dies, which was Finn, mm -hmm. your lineage dies because he turned sage. Right. So this is when I paused the show and I was like, Pete, mm -hmm. what does this mean? <laughs> because... One second later, they figure it out. Yeah, and I did know what it meant, and I said it. Yeah, you were right, but I was like, "Yes, I've been waiting for weeks." Once they've been once they've been talking about, we gotta kill originals, blah blah blah. They're all linked. We gotta kill them. I kept being like, "No, you can't. If you kill the original, so many other vampires will die, including you." And I keep thinking this thing and this every time, and that is the pain of being the super fan. <laughs> Not being able to say anything. If this were a movie, though, if this were a single movie, an incredible ending would be Stefan stabbing Klaus so mad, finally getting his revenge. Klaus dies, then Stefan gets all sick and is like, oh, oh. and then someone would be like, if you kill your lineage, mm -hmm. you will die. And then Elena, like, holding him as he, like, mm -hmm. dies and stuff like that. That'd be a good movie ending. But we know there's you. four more seasons. Yeah. That would be a good. Very dramatic ending. Yeah, probably what happens in the Twilights. Actually, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so they're all like, wait, what? We were about to kill all of ourselves? Yep. <clears throat> they walk around the room and kind of discuss it for a while. Yeah. That was cool. Stefan and Damon and everyone would have died. Caroline and Stefan and Elena all figure that out. If the OGs die... So do all of you. And, mind blower, the entire vampire species. Right. Which at a certain point, you're 500 years old, whatever. I mean, how long? Like. Well, but think about what happened in that moment. When Sage died and uh -huh. Troy died, think yeah. about actually hundreds of other vampires, maybe thousands of other vampires oh. also did die. We just don't see it. They should have. They should have done that, though. Yeah, because everyone who Sage turned, which she mentioned, I turned a lot. Don't judge me. Yeah. And whoever they, those people turned, and also whoever Finn turned, which probably wasn't a lot because he was in a coffin for a long time. But, like, still, lots and lots of other vampires also just randomly turned to stone. And then what if they were, like, in a public place? None of them were in a public place? Nobody saw no, these they vampires turn to stone? They should have done an X-Men Cerebro yes. type thing of seeing a bunch of vampires. like They could have done it through Bonnie, and Bonnie would be like... <gasps> yes. Yes. That would have been awesome. There's like a French vampire with a baguette <laughs> at the Eiffel Tower. There's um one in Nolens. With some gumbo. Yeah, and then all these people just turn all gray and veiny, and, and no one's like, oh, spoiler alert, in the, none of these episodes ever is there, like, a newspaper article that's like, hundreds of people turned gray and veiny. Yeah, and <laughs> but didn't burst into flames, though, right? That and, was just from being staked? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that, they didn't burst into flames. That was Finn being... Because um, Caroline was like, vampire disposal is not my strong suit. Ugh. Ew. At the end. Um, yeah. <laughs> also, if there was just a big news thing about, like, <laughs> across the globe, thousands turned gray and veiny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> That'd be so gross. And also, it'd be like, 
Well, I didn't know anyone that turned gray and veiny, so <laughs> I don't believe that happened. Yeah, and then it like, turned into a whole like, thing. My friend was gray and veiny, <laughs> and I think I'm going to be gray and veiny. Like, it'd be, it'd be a whole thing. So I guess it's good they didn't show it because that's a whole nother show, I guess. Everyone needs to start sun tanning so you don't turn gray and veiny. Well, I'm not, you know. Yeah. Also, in all these towns, there were lots of animal attacks, so there must mm-hmm. be some connection. Um, trying to get me gray and veiny. <laughs> 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 there we go. There's it. <laughs> There's trying an to get easier. me right and dirty. Yeah. yeah. Trying to get me gray and veiny. <laughs> There, there's a good one that right. comes easier than the other one. That, I'm glad we have some, um, like, retribution or whatever from what we said <laughs> earlier. That was really garbage. <laughs> yeah, we're not cutting that garbage out. We need the garbage. We need to fill the, Just it's like It's fine. It's fine. I just, I'm telling you, please don't ever make me listen to that. It'd be really embarrassing. <laughs> you know what? When we're um, the notebook aged or whatever, we'll go back and listen <laughs> to these as we... Get gray and veiny in our, <laughs> in our beds. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm cooking you whatever that old guy cooked that lady, and then she got mad. <laughs> hey, I don't know. A steak or something. <laughs> Damon. <laughs> Damon is still hung up. Literally. Stefan comes in. He says this isn't a dream. He gives the steaks to Klaus as a deal. Damon, in exchange for the last eight weapons that could kill you. Mm Mm-hmm. And then Klaus compels Damon to rip his wrists off. Yeah. Both, I'm getting a lot of, uh, hmm, was this, this was post-Saw. It is Saw-like. It's Saw-like. Also, the Batman is three hours long. So mm-hmm. we're only about halfway through it. Cause we're we can, two-thirds through. We can only watch movies for like, we can only watch television for about 42 minutes every mm-hmm. night, which works out for Vampire Diaries. Mm-hmm. So we're about two sessions into the Batman. Batman's a little saw-like. It's very saw-like. Riddler's a little like a jigsaw. Yeah, totally. I would love for him to ride out on a little tricycle. But in this scene, you know, and I was so big. <laughs> <laughs> him right on a tricycle. In this scene, I was thinking about how when Damon starts pulling at the chains to rip himself out. Mm-hmm. And then later, it's like a couple of minutes later when um, Klaus asks him again, so how many stakes are there? Mm-hmm. I wanted Damon to be like eight and then it would be so badass that that meant that Damon was just on purpose oh. pulling his wrist out and cutting himself like oh, that yeah. to pretend like he was not compelled yeah. anymore yeah. to be oh. able to keep the stakes. But he actually was drained of his ravine and actually was he was compelled. drained and compelled. But if he wasn't, yeah. and then a little bit later, oh, he would be hanging up, yeah. wrist hanging open, and he could look over at Stefan and do a oh. Give him a little give Damon him a face. Huge wink. <laughs> and be like. <sighs> but Wouldn't that have been so cool? Yes, that's great. That's better than what happened in the I show. I know. And I just lo- I just um n- um gave some negative things into, <laughs> into my score for later because of that. I just deducted. Oh. You can give me the fangs instead. Two fangs for Ash. <laughs> okay, I'll give you the fangs if you want them. <laughs> <clears throat> Elena and Caroline are back at the mansion. Elena is like, this, oh yeah, she immediately answers the question from the last scene. This isn't all the weapons. Mm -hmm. In the scene, it leaves it like, is this all the weapons? Mm -hmm. And then we cut to Elena, she's like, this isn't all the weapons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I kind of like that. It's kind of like Austin Powers in a way. Mm Mm-hmm. They're trying to figure out the lineage so they know who to kill. If we kill Klaus, Tyler will die. Which uh, some people would be like, meh. Yeah, but Caroline is not here for it. No. Neither is Elena. She doesn't want any of her friends to die. I know, such a hero. (laughs) Klaus compels Damon to answer about the stakes. He winks and says eight. 
<laughs> the skinny says, 11 more steaks. Mm. Klaus says that he has <laughs> given st- st- Stefan. <laughs> Let me see how you wrote it. <laughs> it's like Gwen Stefani almost. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Klaus says that he has given Stefan purpose as his friend. He's someone for Stefan to hate. Yeah, but Klaus didn't do that on purpose. He wasn't like, I'm Stefan's friend. You know what he really needs? He someone needs to someone hate. to hate. I'm no. going to be that for him. No, this is baloney. It's, <laughs> don't you want somebody to hate? Stefan's going to find somebody to hate. All Stefan right. would find someone to hate all on his own, and he did. He didn't need you to pretend like it was your idea. What's him call it? Uh, Klaus is gaslighting Stefan at this totally. time. Totally. He's just like, here's the current situation. What can I say in this moment? Oh, this lie. Yes. Stefan jumps at Klaus with the steak, and then Cl- Klaus or somebody says, put the steak down or we both die. Mm-hmm. Rebecca lets Damon down. Bring us the steaks and you'll both live. Bring us all the steaks, Klaus says, Ash. <laughs> and listen carefully. Bring us all the stakes or I'll wage a war against everyone you love, which is exactly what I say at Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> Perfect. I know. Isn't it annoying to be like stakes, 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 stakes? Yeah. They Sometimes they just say the same vocabulary word like a hundred times. Dagger. Like, dagger, dagger, dagger. I, I like to hear the... Doppelganger, doppelganger, doppelganger. <laughs> I like to hear grimoire. Yeah. We heard it like once in here. Mm-hmm. And Klaus was like, the grimoire, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. <laughs> I like how Rebecca's just like, all right, you guys, this is annoying. Get down. Go get the steaks. I'm, yeah. I'm done with this. Also, how many times has Klaus talked about waging war and I'll kill every single person you know? His only thing is like, I'm going to kill everyone you love. Like that. That's his thing that he tells everyone always. He says it too much. And to my knowledge, he hasn't killed everyone that anyone loves yet. No. Klaus isn't sad about Finn. He was a lovesick fool who lived in a box. But this is Klaus just trying to be defensive to himself so he doesn't have to feel anything. Rebecca likes the Salvatores because they are family to themselves. Mm -hmm. Rebecca wishes she had that. Klaus also wishes he had a family, but they didn't want him. It's so annoying, though. It's like, instead of trying to do all these extra things, make a hybrid family. Oh, my gosh. Do all this other weird stuff. Desperate much? Why don't you just, like, work on your own relationships? Yeah. You have all your brothers and sisters and your mom. Well, now he missed. It. Now he doesn't have. Well, actually, his two brothers missing and his dad. But you still have several family members left. Like you could still be a family. Just like talk to them. Like spend time together. Don't just dagger each other only. Yeah, dagger each other. Put each other in coffins nonstop. They're like, I want a family. I want a family. It's like you guys literally are family. Yes. You two talking to each other could be each other's family, and you are your family. Yeah. Ash. Get with the program. I got to slip a plug in here. Okay. That's too perfect. Oh, yeah. I have a short story yes. in a, uh anthology, a short story anthology that just came out, and it's called Family. It is, yeah. Look on um, wherever you get your books, like Amazon, Barnes & Noble. It's so this... this um, independent independent publishing collective whatever called writing block bloc just put out an anthology called family um search for my name or writing block family anthology i got a story in there it's called crab feast it's about a grandmama and a young boy mm-hmm. waging war against a giant mutant crab and it's dedicated to my mom yep it's very fun Check it out. It's the best. It's the best. You gotta, you gotta check it out. Check it out. All right, family. Okay, because we're talking about family. No, no, it was perfect. Klaus is going to leave with Elena's blood. And speaking of family, create a new family of hybrids. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Rebecca may choose to stay in Mystic Falls. She, she's feeling it. Yeah, she's like. They did all the. 
the remodeling yeah. <laughs> on the house. You know, they have the house. I know, and when they did the blood thing with Damon, did you know they had like a sheet on the ground, like a plastic sheet? Oh, they weren't trying to get blood on their no. new... their new flooring. Their new flooring, <laughs> yeah. Do you think they did laminates, or what do you think? <laughs> no, hardwood. Okay. Stefan has the steak. White oak ash. White oak... Oh. Flooring. The irony. Uh. Stefan has a steak. Elena comes in. Damon is getting a lark's steak back. Klaus isn't worth it anymore, Stefan says. Hating him has been wasting time and energy for nothing. It's done and we lost. Mm -hmm. He's right back where he started. Is this what we wanted? We're right back where we started. I don't know that song. Whoa. So he's right back where he started, like the uh, aforementioned song that I don't remember who it's by. What did I lose <laughs> in the process? I said he's referring to Elena. Mm-hmm. Hating Klaus was easy. He, It let him ignore everything around him, and he let stuff slip away, blah, blah, blah. And Elena's like, I know what you're talking about. Me. <laughs> And she said, I never stopped loving you. Mm -hmm. Okay, but here's where it gets complicated. <clears throat> You're also in love with Damon, Stefan says. He says, I will always love you, but tell me that you don't feel something for him. Okay, but pause. Did you see the moment when Stefan grabbed Elena by the cheek around her neck like he always used to. Mm -hmm. It was the first time he's done that in like a season and a half. I didn't see that. I was typing. Probably. It was a big deal. He was like, and I, I always love you. And he's like getting all up in her face and stuff. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I know. You mm -hmm. love each other. Because <laughs> you're steady standing Stellina, Ash. Of course. Tell me that you don't feel something for him. She says she doesn't know what she feels. And Stefan's like, shmer. If you can, if your immediate answer isn't no, mm -hmm. it's yes. <laughs> hey, if it's not no, it's yes. I'm just saying. Damon is going to get Alaric's steak, but it's missing. Alaric is the only one who knew about it. But. Alaric is two people. <laughs> his vampire hating alter ego has the steak. And I thought it'd be funny if it, it was like he just hit it right over somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Like his alter ego is like, hmm, I'm going to hide the steak. Where would I least suspect it? Oh, just right over here. Mm, yeah. Oh, wait, there it is. Man, Alaric, man. He's messing up. But let's be honest. These teens and these hundreds of year old vampires, they yeah. decided we're going to make 12 steaks to kill, vampi to kill the original vampires. We're going to give one of these steaks... To a vampire hunter, yeah. and know. and then give him his ring back, and nothing's gonna go wrong. But I guess at the po at that point they did want all the vampires dead, so maybe they thought that was gonna be good. But it only turned out that they actually don't want to kill them now. <laughs> okay, so let me dig a little deeper into this Alaric alter ego because they're making this a whole thing. Are we going to... All right, Pete Diction time. Are we going to meet Alaric when he's under the influence of this alter ego? And is he going to be so anti-vampire? Because he killed a guy that wasn't a vampire because he was falsifying animal attack records. Like, he hates vampires so much that, what, he wants the truth to be known about these animal attacks that they're actual vampire attacks. That's how deep this... Basically, vampire hater hatred goes. I like that you know these specific things about him. I, so I would like to see, like, Alaric, like, I don't know, his eyes will be different or something. Somehow you'll know that he's in his, he's up in his feelings or whatever. Mm -hmm. And in, in his alter ego, and he'll be like, no, you, I must rid the vampires. The ring. <laughs> oh, and maybe the ring is motivated by these witches, these hundred dead witches, I guess. Because what's the motivation? These witches made, made the rings. Witches hate vampires, obviously. Um, he's going to be wearing the ring. They're going to take the ring off him. His eyes are going to change. He'll be like, whoa, I didn't want to kill you, whichever Caroline or whichever vampire he's about to <clears throat> kill. 
Hi, that's a Pete Diction. Well, that good. series of words is a... It's a Pete Diction slash some questions, and those are good thoughts. But I want to be able to... I want to see a lark in his alter ego, and I want to be able to tell. Not just when he was looking in that little mirror in the... Oh, yeah. MRI machine. That you, you <laughs> kind of. I, I tell. could tell there because he was doing some facial work. Which, if mm-hmm. this actor is good enough, then I'll be fine with not having to see his eyes like gloss over or whatever. Mm-hmm. If he's just like, <laughs> if he's like nasty alark or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Then I'm into that also. All right. Um, we don't usually go Pete Dixon's first, but since you started, continue. Mm-hmm. Anything else? Um, um, is Rebecca going to, like, stay around Mystic Falls and kind of be one of the gang for a minute? But, um, I don't know what purpose she would serve. Jeremy's living his best life. Mm -hmm. I think he may get a gerbil at some point. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Matt... Scott, he's really excited for football season. I don't know. He just does normie stuff. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tyler, I'm sure, will return at some point. Maybe Klaus will like try and rope him into like some more hybrid type stuff. What about Stelena or Delena? Well, hmm. Okay, this is a pure Pete Diction. Maybe she'll want to like try out the Delena of it all for a minute just so she can see what that would be like just so she could go hardcore back to Stelena like I just had to try like if there was anything there I needed to know you know mm-hmm. and then Stefan will be like you were with Damon and she'd be like but it wasn't Stefan you know <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. I don't know they got a couple more seasons to work with you know what I'm saying yeah alright fangs Two fangs. All right, I took away some fangs from mine and gave them to you. Well, mine's two fangs because Stefan finally told Elena he loved her and he was his regular self at the end of the episode. He finally let go of all this, the, I keep wanting to say Stefan stuff. <laughs> Stefan stuff? No, of um, all the Klaus stuff. Uh-huh. And he's like ready to kind of be himself again in a way. And... I'm glad for that. Cool. And I also just, I liked the reveal of them being linked. And if you kill one, you, or the fact, not that they're linked, but they're the lineage. Yes. Yeah, that's cool. I, I'm glad that that reveal has finally come. All right. I am going because, and I just did some calculations. <laughs> so this is very scientific. And I took a little bit away from you, and so I'm giving 1.69420 fangs. Oh, uh, perfect. <laughs> Ash, look, some people don't mess with Amazon. Mm-hmm. But go to Amazon, look up my name, look up my author page, a couple books on there. Mm-hmm. Then there several. Then... Go to the website of your choice and buy all of those books. Mm-hmm. Not just one. No. You need the family anthology. You need the dad joke book. You need Happenstances 1 and 2. You need Horror from the High Dive Volume 1. Wow. Because you're going to want to get familiar with Happenstances and Horror from the High Dive because there's new stuff coming. And the family anthology, there's other authors in there that are doing good work. Hey, some of these authors in there might be the next big authors that, I mean, our authors do even, you know, authors get big anymore? Yeah. Some of these ones might. For sure. So, yeah, check those things out. Do it. Yeah. And also, or you can just scale on Amazon, but yeah, or get your local bookstore, search it up. Peter L. Harmon. Yep. At Peter L. Harmon on Instagram, at High Dive Publishing on Instagram. We're, the, we're out there every day. Do we still have merch on T Public? We have some non-forbidden merch. <laughs> some of the forbidden merch has been forbidden once again, but we do have at least a couple original uh, things on there. Yeah. And we have made some sales. We love it. I'm Thank wearing, you. I'm, I'm wearing a forbidden shirt right now. I drank from a non-forbidden cup this morning. 
There you go. Hey, we got cups, stickers. What's coming up? Mother's Day or something? Your mom wants this stuff. Yeah, Mother's Day. You should know. Yeah, your mom. Also, Teacher Appreciation Week. Teachers love this. <laughs> Teachers and moms. We got a teacher slash mom on the podcast. Of course. All right. Well, we'll be back. Um, this season is wrapping up. Yep. But, but we, we'll keep you posted. And thanks for um, being patient with this episode coming out a little late. Oh, you guys are going to be so happy seeing this pop up. Bye. Bye. <laughs>